Hi guys, who enjoyed the football last night? Now, if you did anything like me, especially at the second half, you'd have been on the edge of your seat. But in the first half, you might not have been. And if you've got a deep sofa like these that we do now with all these pillow bags, we find a lot of people, including us in our household, end up with a bad back through sitting on the sofa, particularly if it's like a film or something long. Normally, oh, you can see this. You kind of sit back, recline, pop your feet up maybe, and have the dog sitting on your lap as well. So you don't really sit on your sit bones, which if you put your hands underneath your bum, you can feel them. Now, we should have curves in our spine, in the lower back going towards the belly, the upper back going backwards, and in the neck going towards your throat. And we need to keep those curves in our spine. They act as a coil or a shock absorber. And as we start to kind of slouch forward, don't sit on our sit bones, we start to lose those curves. And also there's a big plexus of nerves at the bottom of your spine here, and also your discs that when you're slouching, even if you're slouching against the headboard in bed, um, which a lot of people seem to do, um, you can put a lot of pressure in that area and risk actually getting a disc hernia and do some, do some nerve damage in there as well. Um, I usually find on a sunbed when you're in that kind of like semi-line back position, um, I go all numb and tingly in my bottom. So um, that is a sign that obviously your nerves are being affected by sitting in that position. So the best thing that you can do if you've got a deep sofa, get loads of cushions behind you, okay? So that you're sitting up. And that way, I mean, what we normally do as well, we pull another one in. So we have something to pop against our head. So basically you're changing the sofa. It's great, there's only a couple of you. If, you, if, if it's fine, you're sitting on the sofa, there's probably not enough cushions, but then you're sitting up right and you've got a sofa that looks aesthetically pleasing when all the cushions are plumped and you can sit up and watch TV. And actually it's not so bad. Now, when you're putting your feet up, that'd be even better. But what I would suggest is that you pull the poof right towards you so you don't have that big gap between your knee and your leg when you've got the poof as well. Um, so you can then put a cushion underneath your knee and lift your, lift your knees ever so slightly, keep them bent so that when you get up you don't have tight stiff knees from putting loads of pressure on your knees um, with the gap between the poof. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, there we go. You've got the gap between the poof where the poof starts here and your leg, you'll end up with a lot of pressure on the knees. You really want to be drawing that poof in. Obviously lifting it in a very safe, chiropractically friendly way as well. So I hope this little video helps. Any questions, please just PM us. Um, otherwise, if you've got a bad back still and that's not helping you, you know where we are. Have a great day. Enjoy the football on Sunday and let's hope it's coming home. <laughs>